experience, my ticket incident that just recently happened comes to mind. I recently purchased tickets to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo to go see the concert, the band Perry. I purchased the tickets from TicketLiquidator.com. My ticket purchases were made in two separate transactions. I purchased a transaction that had only tickets, and I did a second transaction for a parking pass. Both of these purchases were made on January 27th. I received my tickets to the Van Perry concert on February 10th. The parking pass was still not received by the 12th of February. When the tickets were not received by the 12th of February, I was a little concerned. I didn't know where they were, and I didn't know why they hadn't came to my house yet. So I decided to call the company and ask them what was going on. After getting on the phone with Ticket Liquidator, they then told me, after looking at my information, that the tickets had been delivered. But they were delivered to New Jersey. Texas and New Jersey, I didn't think they were the same state, but I guess they are. They were delivered and signed for by a person of no name. I was very upset and very mad because I thought I was going to be getting charged for $80 in a parking pass. The people on, from TicketLiquidator.com apologized to me and told me there wasn't anything I could do but to contact the seller of the tickets. I then contacted the seller from Dallas and they told me that I would have to send an email to their manager and request for a refund. Three days after sending my email, I received a message stating that he was sorry there wasn't anything he could do, that I would have to repurchase another set of parking passes. Well, this made me very mad. I talked to my aunt and she then decided that we were going to call American Express and tell them to not submit the payment to Ticket Liquidator. Since the transaction had went through on <coughs> Ticket Liquidator's end, but not on our end. So, two days later we get a phone call from American Express credit card company and they told us that they had stopped the payment, we wouldn't be paying the $80 for the parking passes, and we were okay. We could then purchase another parking pass if we would like one. My aunt told me no. She said we weren't going to use Ticket Liquidator again and that I'd have to find an alternative to finding a parking pass that we could purchase. All in all, this whole incident has made me realize how unsafe and scary it is to purchase something online. I, from now on, will not be making purchases online for any tickets to any concerts.